the title is brilliant, it sounds like a, it's, it's like political and sexual, it's scandalous in itself. What's really fascinating about uh, Elisabeth Jacquet Laguerre is the, the, the words, uh, well, we've translated, but I mean the approach and the complexity of what she's talking about. Because she's talking about patriarchy and misogyny at her time, which is so close to ours, weirdly, worryingly. But, um, but in, in the same level of complexity and details, it's, it's not judgmental and it's, it, it is militant, but it's not militant, it's not violent. It's compassionate and, and angry at the same time and I, I find yeah I find I find really refreshing to to have um, a complex discourse around misogyny and the difficulty of patriarchy. What's quite rare even for the women composers that we do know about is that she had this kind of long sustained professional career where she was able to develop kind of a mature style and start to kind of innovate and become like really confident in her craft. So the pieces that we're doing, she wrote when she was in her 40s, living in Paris. You can really tell that she knows what she's doing and that she's taking risks. I've done quite a lot of French Baroque music, but I don't think, I don't think I've sung any by Jacques Laguerre before. The sweetest of victories is all I pursue. Basically in Judith we have a narrator, we have Judith and Holofernes and you kind of hear all three voices. So Judith's story is that her city is under siege. She basically seduces Holofernes and kills him. The way that Toria has done the translation, it sort of switches persona, it switches time, you know, present tense to past tense. So it's a little bit like a kind of story, you know, like a filmic storyboard. It's not very common to have such direct storytelling. And I think in this case, audiences will really be able to sit back and listen and hear a, hear a story. Suzanne is the victim of a pair of voyeurs who are trying to pressure her into some things she's not comfortable with. The cantata is the story of her, her attempt to vindicate herself and to seek justice for this kind of intrusion. I was drawn by the fact that it was a female Baroque composer and that it was a new translation written by a woman and that it was all about women. I thought that was fascinating. That it's only right as Leia is the eldest that she be. The character of Rachel is the youngest daughter of a wealthy farmer, Laban. She's betrothed to Jacob, but unknown to her, her father substitutes her older sister. And so she married, marries Jacob instead. And so Rachel, not being as feisty and fiery as some of the other women in this series, just sits and waits patiently until it's her turn. Audiences can expect a lot of watermelon-based action during this piece, and I won't say much more than that, but prepare yourselves. Robin stands his ground, says he's a careful father.